days. We've seen a lot of emotional visuals as well when workers who were trapped inside this Silkyara end uh, of the tunnel were speaking to their family members. Um, it is, of course, a very distressing situation for them to be in. Uh, but quickly, let's talk about the other reactions that came in uh, because Mahmood Ahmad, who is the managing director of the NHIDCL, did state that the vertical drilling was being done. This is a reaction that did come in a couple of um, hours ago where he did state that um, they've gained another 1.5 meters. So the work is ongoing and then they have not stopped any of their various options. So that is the latest reaction that has also come in as far as they have drilled the five 55.3 beg your pardon meters by manual excavation and uh, what everybody of course in chorus is saying that let's hope to get some good news by late evening um, talking about the other essential inputs here the fact that you do, do see these visuals on your screens we're showing you two sets of visuals one is inside the tunnel one is outside the tunnel just focusing on the fact that this is a contrast of visuals that you're seeing but everyone's of course hoping for that one news because inside the tunnel there is of course hectic activity that is transpiring you see a lot of heavy security also in and around but outside the tunnel you do see visuals of the ambulances that are on standby in fact 41 ambulances is what we have learned um, each ambulance will ferry uh, each one of the worker who has been trapped remember what the chief minister did point out as well as far as all the medical accommodation being done for them has already uh, been kept on standby we are also learning that a green corridor to ferry them is also also set in progress. So it's just a matter of time that these workers will finally come out. Um, of course, it would be a big relief for the families and agonizing wait would finally come to an end after 17 long days. Uh, but just focusing and staying on these visuals that you're getting, it is important to note that every single member who has been a part of this rescue operation, um, like all of us, of course, also waiting for that good news to come out. My colleague joins me over the phone lines. Bharka, this day we had a wait for the breakthrough. But we had to wait for a little more than a good news. But you were giving us a ground zero report. So what is the latest? Now, look, the work is going to be out of here. The ambulance is going to be out of here. The NDRF and SDRF are still in here. Now, the work is going to be out of here. They are doing it very well. अब जो जितने भी लोग अंदर फंसे हैं उनको बाहर निकाला जाएगा और उसके बाद ये जो कालेस एम्बुलेंस यहाँ पर लाइन से खड़ी हुई है इनमें पहले देखिए ले वाइटल चेक किए जाएंगे इस तरह की स्थिति है पहले कुछ देर उनको वहाँ पर रखा जाएगा और फिर उसके बाद मूवमेंट होगा कि यानी शॉर्ट की तरफ जहाँ पर एक अस्पताल जो है वो पूरी तरह से तैयार किया गया है चालीस बेड जो है वो वहाँ पर मौजूद है वहीं पर उनकी उनका जो चेकअप होगा देखिए वो किया जाएगा तैयारियां कई दिन पहले कर दी गई थी क्योंकि लगातार ये लग रहा था कि बहुत जल्द ये लोग बाहर आ जाएंगे लेकिन सत्रह दिन बाद ही पूरा रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन पूरा हो सका है और अब हम ये उम्मीद कर रहे हैं कि जितने भी लोग बाहर निकलेंगे क्योंकि देखिए जानकारी बार बार ये दी जा रही थी कि उनका स्वास्थ्य बिल्कुल ठीक है अंदर वो बिल्कुल ठीक से मौजूद है उनको कोई ऐसा असर नहीं हुआ है ये अपने आप में बहुत राहत की बात थी और आप यही चाहते हैं कि जब वो बाहर निकले तो भी इसी तरह की स्थिति हो भड़का अगर मैं आपको एक और सवाल पूछ सकूं कि एंटायर ऑपरेशन में अगर हमने देखा है बहुत सारी चैलेंजेस उनके सामना करना पड़ा आप वहां ग्राउंड जीरो से लगातार रिपोर्टिंग कर रही है तो ये पूरा देश अभी वो गुड न्यूज़ के लिए सुनने के लिए तैयार है लेकिन जैसे हम बात कर रहे हैं एनडीआरएफ की जो एक पहली ब्रेक थ्रू था वो विक्ट्री का साइन भी दिखा रहा था बिकॉज दिस हैज़ बिन एन एक्सट्रीमली चैलेंजिंग प्रोसेस फॉर दैम इज़ वेल बिल्कुल एनडीआरएफ के लिए देखिए पूरा बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज ये रहा था पूरी की पूरी टीम देखिए लगातार लगी हुई थी एनडीआरएफ की टीम लगी हुई थी ओएनजी सीएसजीबीएन अलग अलग जगह में इस पूरे के पूरे ऑपरेशन पर काम किया है और अब आखिरकार आखिरकार ये जो हॉरिजॉन्टल ड्रिलिंग है उसके जरिए वहां तक पहुंचा गया है जैसे ब्रीफिंग हुई थी देखिए अभी technical issue with that line over there but that is my colleague Barka remember she has been continuously reporting from ground zero getting us the latest inputs tracking every input which is coming from there and essentially what she's gone on to state now the good news apart from the fact that this breakthrough 
also has happened is that there has been no medical issue so far with all these 41 workers. And she's gone on to point out that, of course, all of us are hoping that when they come out as well, that's essentially what is going to be the status of their health. And uh, speaking about that, she's also stated that it is, of course, a couple of hours from now that we're hoping it is going to be good news once they come out, all these medical teams, of course, on standby. We also see the ambulances. Just looking at the two set of visuals, what is important to also note here, once again, viewers, is that with the fact that outside the tunnel, you see the number of 